Hey guys, Dan Briggs, and guys, today we're finally going to talk about the new Demon Slayer Buzz Mode and new scale figure right here, 112 scale. Um, this is really disappointing. Um, not going to lie, I did not want to make a video about this. It just really triggered me. Um, most likely you guys already know the price. It's so stupid. Uh, but the figure itself doesn't look too bad. Um, there's some really good parts about this figure and there's like one big thing about this figure not the biggest fan Oh technically two, but I think the first one is technically the main one and Before we get to the of course that stuff. Here's of course the price $164.99 That is insanely stupid right here for the price um, Okay, that's already a pass for me uh, for the price of this figure technically you could just spend a hundred dollars more and that's a hot toys for of course another figure Or you could technically buy some other of course stuff right here. So that's already a pass for me um, The release date for this is gonna be March of 2022 That is technically a year from now Okay, so not gonna lie. I actually kind of I actually did um, cancel my order for the Buzz Mode um, Tanjiro and um, Nezuko. I saw the review for, of course, um, Tanjiro, and I saw the videos like, okay, it's actually not that bad. But when I saw the video, I was like, it's not worth the hundred and fifty dollars. I really didn't feel comfortable spending that much for the figure. Um, I was really excited for it, but I just couldn't pull the trigger for 150 so I canceled mine um so that's our course for that when I see the reviews I don't think it's worth the 150 I can maybe see like around 90 dollars um that's probably like the most maybe a hundred just like that but I can't see um 150 um Nezuko I did see of course pictures on Instagram and dang that figure does look really nice it looks really amazing but still I don't think it's worth the 150 I think I'd rather buy the Mayfix Batman figure, the Batman Hush one. That one's like around like $95. It comes with the stand and like that. And that, with that extra money right there, I could buy another item. So I think for me, I'll wait and maybe, um, maybe if I find a good deal on eBay for these figures. But I highly doubt it because so far they're the same price as, of course, here at Big Bad Toy Store. But I did bought one of them. I already paid for it because it was a really good deal on Country Roll. I'm um, not gonna lie. I forgot his name. I don't even know the character too much. I just bought it because it was a really good deal. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Of course, when I get it, maybe I might sell it, might keep it. I haven't even seen the film. I forgot the guy's name. I'm so sorry. It's the fire guy from, of course, the um, one of the Haishira. Haishira. Um, I'll put his, uh, of course, picture of the character. Sorry, just couldn't figure out his name right now. But I got that one for like a hundred dollars at Country Roll store. And I was like, okay, why not? I'll get it. But then um, I completely forgot about it like that. But that should be coming out, I think, August or October, it said. That's probably the only one I bought. But so far, like, Tanjiro, Nezuko, um, Zenith 2, I did cancel. It's just did not feel comfortable spending over 150 around 150 for those figures. So that's, of course, my thing right there. Um, it's just I'd rather buy other stuff, of course. But this right here, this figure does look pretty good. But I was saying in the beginning, there's two main things I do not like about this figure. And that's, of course, the body. There's no shading at all from seeing it. I think from seeing the pictures, you might see some. But I think it's just the shadow of, the, of course, the body of the figure. So that's one thing right there. And the other thing is, I feeling, I don't know, just because it's made might look small. I feel like they made him kind of... They made him buff, but his body's too small. Like especially his like um chest and of course his abs right there. To me, some kind of seems kind of small, but I don't know. It just might just be me. But that's my little nitpick. Very little, nothing too much. It still looks good, but I think my also just might be the shadowing because it's missing that. But yeah, but of course like the of course mask looks really good. Looks amazing. His swords look pretty good. Um, really hoping those are die cast, but most likely not. I don't think it says anything of that. It's most likely just plastic. The pants right here look pretty good. Um, like, I guess the fur part right there doesn't look too bad. I was kind of maybe hoping to be actually like, um, or you, I guess fur technically, yeah. But I guess it's plastic right there. Um, the poses right here look pretty good. Um, another thing is, um, it actually comes with two technically mask ones of him angry, and that looks really good. That's just really nice, surprising right there. Um, another head sculpt's gonna come with is his face, uh, of course, without the mask. That looks really good. It's actually gonna come with interchangeable pieces for that. Of course, him yelling, 
one of them, of course, him right here smiling. Um, let me see right here on the bottom if there's anything of that. Four um, face plates. So far, we only got two of them, I want to say. Um, I'm trying to see in the bottom right here. Four face plates, standard face, angry face, and a boar mask, smiling face, and yelling face. Oh, so technically all four means the two mask ones and two of the smiling and yelling. Oh, that's what they meant. Oh, okay. Two swords, three mystery minifigures. Oh, okay, these right here. So stupid. Like... I think I saw them already on Instagram, like how they look like. I think it's one of Nezuko, one is Tanjiro, and the other one might be Zenistu. They're like wearing like, I don't even know what they're wearing. They're not, it's not even supposed to be in the show or something. It's something a little fun, but it's kind of dumb. It includes those also, because I don't think even the other ones came with it. I don't think like Zenistu, Tanjiro, none of those came with that. That's kind of dumb right there. It includes those. Um, and of course, the dumb part is, of course, they're hiding them pretty interesting but already got the pictures so i don't know what you guys thoughts on that to me it was dumb but yeah another thing it looks pretty cool with this figure that of course him dean down um right here looks pretty nice here's of course a picture of him there's next to um tondro that looks pretty nice um so yeah oh yeah one other thing i did even mention a while ago i remember saying if he does his pose right here that's gonna be a buy um he is doing it but still not gonna buy it just because of the price um, if this was $90 or 100 I think maybe I would have bought in it, but I don't think so. This is way too much money for a figure this tiny. Um, another thing is, he sort of looks weird doing it, not gonna lie. Um, his legs are still up a little bit. Uh, I mean, his feet, actually. It looks kind of weird. Um, but it's kind of cool he could do that pose right there. Um, that is actually pretty cool. So, that's, of course, this figure right here. I'm a little disappointed with, the, technically, just the price and maybe the shadowing for the figure, but that's, um, another thing is pretty interesting, um, Big Bad Toys has been doing this for a while for these, of course, um, figures right here, they're saying 9 inches, but I don't think these figures are 9 inches, they're only like 7 or 6, technically, I think even smaller, actually, so yeah, um, this is, of course, really disappointed with the price, it's just, dang, it's so stupid, um, but if you guys are gonna buy this figure, if you're just gonna buy all of them, um, right here, actually, in Country Roll, you could buy it, um, cheaper, I did notice that, but still, it's not worth me spending still a lot more money um i'm pretty sure it's still available let me just check real quick yep here it is it's 145 dollars another thing it is free shipping you do save a, of course a couple bucks here i want to say like 15 or 10 so that's pretty cool i did buy of course the last um an another order of course of the, the one's been saying i forgot his name again but i did order him from 100 because he was on sale for like half the not half the price but like it was like around 145 the figure, then an extra $25 off, then an extra 20 on something else. Then I also got like a $10 coupon in the country roll, so it only cost me like around $100 exactly, 101 or something like that. So I thought to me it was a really good deal. But I'm excited to get that one, but um, it's kind of like sucks that I might not collect the whole wave and like that. But you will see. I might find them a good deal on eBay or something like that. We will see. But if you guys are wondering if you do want to buy this figure, he is available on Crunchyroll. I have ordered one item from there before. I think it was the King Adora SH Monster Arts. It arrived pretty good. Um, but yep, it's right here for 145. Um, it says right here pre-orders do close at the 6th of the 23rd of this year. So of course you do have um, a little bit of time to of course get this. So that's of course my thoughts for this figure right here, guys. Let me know down below if you guys are excited. For me, it's of course a pass. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.